Welcome, Clara. Uh, it's great to have you back with us. Yes. Um, I think it was two years ago that uh, you were playing the Korngold Concerto with us, and now you are here playing Brahms Concerto. Um, maybe you could tell us a little bit about this uh, concerto and, and your particular relationship with it. I had a wonderful time. I remember two years ago when we did uh, Korngold with um, Maestro Vasily Petrenko. Petrenko so and um, I had a wonderful time here and I was so happy uh, with how responsive the orchestra was, how open-minded you guys are and um, when I was asked to play Brahms I was even more excited because I mean compared to Korngold Brahms is, is, is a bit more uh, a direct language and I think also very suitable for this time um, because it's it's uh, very nature orientated in my opinion Brahms language um, and a lot of dialogues and Korngold is is more the dreamy and it's like a fairyland and Brahms is really reality and and raw and um, so when when we we worked today for three hours and I was so happy to work this long because it doesn't happen that often that you rehearse for three hours. Mm -hmm. And I'm also very happy that we get to play now four concerts instead of two uh, because of reduced audience. And I think at the end of this four days journey, uh, we would have hopefully created something. And uh, so of course, uh, during these two years that we haven't seen you, uh, one year we've had a pandemic. Uh, which has changed uh, our lives, uh, all of us, I think. Mm. Um, how has it been for you? How, mm. What changes have you made? In a positive uh, perspective, I think it did give me a little bit of uh, room to breathe and have a break and also uh, reflect um, as a musician, as a human being. Um, but of course, because it was forced upon us, I think, um, there's only a matter of, of time where you feel um, that you're reflecting and then it just becomes, you just miss the stage, you just miss creating music and um, to be honest, I, it's, uh, it still feels quite surreal to, to be on stage and hearing a full orchestra play Brahms and to have dialogue with the oboe, oboe and, um, but I think it, it, this whole I do think that everything in life has a meaning and um, for me personally I think it will make me uh, appreciate um, music more. Mm. And can you tell us a little bit about your violin mm. that's yes. so beautiful? Um, this violin has been with me I, uh, since 2015 mm -hmm. and um, I think also this one year has has done. Um, this is a Stradivarius 1708, uh, which is on loan to me by a Korean foundation named Samsung. And uh, I also find this this violin has uh, somehow developed um, its own kind of sound. And in the last one year, very uh, surprisingly not being on stage so often has maybe given it a bit more room you know mm -hmm. to to because because the constant traveling also i guess there was no no constant traveling anymore <laughs> for for this violin does uh, does the actual violin ever uh, suggest a musical idea to you Would um, with the, I mean, the color that it might yes. have on a certain string or something? Uh, str strangely, um, not so much in rehearsal, although we, when we, we rehearsed in the hall today, for example, but it doesn't act uh, that way. But during concerts, sometimes I, um, I feel maybe the light and the audience and, and certain things. I sometimes find the violin giving diff different colors uh, throughout the performance mm -hmm. which uh, I, I don't want to control but I'd rather go with the sound and I let it sometimes control me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, have you had a chance to see anything of Vaidolid or to have 
a nice coffee or, or wine? The thing is that I came yesterday from Germany mm -hmm. and everything is closed since December. Yeah. And so arriving here, I, I, it was amazing to have a coffee on the sidewalk and, and to uh, go to a restaurant and be able to order. And I remember the last time I was here, I went to a few couple of restaurants and they were so good. So um, I hope that I'll have some time to sit in a restaurant and eat. Great. Well, we are looking forward <laughs> to these four concerts with you, Clara, very much. Thank you, me too. And uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you very much. <laughs>